Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how narcissists steal your personality. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a call with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk Narcissists steal your personality. They will steal your qualities and characteristics, your traits, interests, drives, abilities and values. They will act just like you and you may never actually see the real version of them. They won't tell you who they are. They won't tell you what they've done in the past. And they won't tell you what they're going to do to you. They lack an identity. They neglect self-development. Because they've done a lot of bad things. They don't like who they are. So they don't expect you or anyone else to like them. Because they don't even like themselves. They don't believe in themselves, which is why they will often mirror you. Because they're studying you. They're monitoring everything that you do. Because they view you as someone desirable and credible. As someone who is able to be believed. Because you're a real person. You've actually done the work to become who you are today which they study and use as part of their manipulation to get you to validate them. Which means that they will act just like you. So all of a sudden, they will be mimicking your mannerisms. They will be imitating your habitual gestures, your ways of speaking and behaving. And they will even start showing an interest in your distinctive style in art, literature or music, as though they're into that too. And they may even have done their own research on it, because they've already studied you. So you've given them a design plan to become you, until you begin to think that you like them, because you believe in what they're displaying to you, when in fact, you're just falling for a replication of yourself. Something that was intended to manipulate and deceive you. Which can be very effective. Because they've already convinced you that you're not good enough. Or as though no one else would want you. When they've just copied your personality traits and characteristics. And you validated them and believed in them. So you've just fallen for a version of yourself. You believe in you. And they hated themselves so much that they started to act like you. They pretended to be cooler or more knowledgeable than they actually are to get to you. Which proves that you are worthy of love. It proves that you're more intelligent and more relevant than you've been led to believe. Because they're mirroring you they feel like they're not enough. So they have to pick up your traits. They have to copy your mannerisms. Because they know that you're such a good person. They know that you have a lot of things going for you. Which is why they act just like you. Because they want you to validate them. And they want you to believe in them. So they pick up your mannerisms. They say things that you would normally say. They do what you do. They copy your words and sentences. They say things that you were about to say. They mirror you. Because they feel like they're invisible. As though they're not relevant. So they start to act just like you because they know you're a good person. They know you have a good heart, which is why they start to act like you. 
and they may even replace you in your own family or social circle by pretending to be a different version of you and then they will spread gossip about you. They will talk about you behind your back to isolate you from your own family or social circle because you can't both be you so they will take you out of the picture so that you're no longer involved and you become irrelevant and then they will start picking up things that you would normally do they will take over your life they will become an imposter by pretending to be you in order to deceive other people for fraudulent gain it's like Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre they might as well have sawed off your face and worn it as a mask because they're acting like you and they're trying to become you because you're lovable you're charming and likable you have qualities that attract affection you have attractive qualities that make you easy to like and love and they know it they don't target people who are not good enough or unworthy they see who you are but the things they liked about you in the beginning are what they will soon hate you for because it's you and not them and they want to be you so they will even hate the same mannerisms that they pick up from you they will resent you for those things later on because they're yours and not theirs when you possess great mental strength so you deserve to be who you are and you should get the life that you deserve but you won't get the life that you deserve by being with someone who only acts like you someone who's just wearing a disguise and they're putting on a performance instead of taking action instead of actually doing something you won't get the life you deserve with someone like that because they're not going to take the initiative they're not going to make a move while with you you're so lovable that you fell for a reflection of yourself and by realizing that you can then remove this imposter from your life because they're nothing like you they're never going to be like you and they're never going to achieve the things that you have achieved they just use this disguise to enmesh themselves in your life and then they remove their mask because they feel like they've got you trapped which leaves you all confused because you thought you were with someone similar to you someone who likes the same things that you like someone who shares the same qualities and characteristics but then they suddenly hate all of the things that they once claimed to like they suddenly hate you and turn against you because they never liked those things to begin with but they will keep some of what they stole from you if they think that they can use it to manipulate you again or they may even use it to attract someone else if they believe that it gives them an advantage but they will only use it to manipulate people not because they actually care about it but because they believe that it's something attractive and desirable they're never about anything for real they just reflect back to you whatever they think you want to see which is why once you've spent enough time around them you may feel like you're the only person who knows who they really are narcissists steal your personality they want to become you because they're empty meat suits they have a void that they're trying to fill they're like black holes they suck the life out of you they draw you into negative situations to fill you with fear doubt and confusion because they want you to submit to their will and obey all of their orders 
they view you as an extension of themselves, as an object that exists to serve them. So they have to manipulate you into some form of agreeance to be able to maintain their authority and control over you. But they can't do that if you recognize the difference and the separation between you and them by establishing boundaries and by learning to love yourself. Because up until this point, you may have been putting the narcissist before yourself as though they're the only ones who have feelings and needs because they're disconnected from themselves and their emotions which means that they're not real or authentic they can quite easily pick up your characteristics and traits because they're like chameleons or shapeshifters they can change from one moment to the next depending on whatever they think will benefit them in that moment whatever will get them the attention they're looking for. Which is why they will consume your personality because they have no core personality of their own. So they view you as an extension of themselves and they have to traumatize you to keep you in a state of fight or flight to where you never feel calm. You never feel at peace with yourself so that they can then attach themselves to you and be you. Because they can't do that as long as you feel confident in yourself. Because then you're going to have boundaries and there's going to be separation between you and them. Which is why they like it when everything is enmeshed and there's uncertainty about what's yours and what's theirs because then it gives them that opportunity to steal your personality, which is something they wouldn't be able to do if you were grounded in knowing who you are. And it's why they will target your moral compass and cross over your boundaries in order for them to get what they want without any consideration or compassion for you because they want to take advantage of your trauma. They feed off your pain. So they do not want you to heal and move on because then that reminds them that they're not enough, which is something they can't accept. And it's why they target your self-esteem because they feel inferior to you. They're never satisfied, they're never happy and they're bored with themselves. So your life and personality is far more interesting than theirs, which is why they're constantly inquiring too closely into your private affairs. Because they live vicariously through you, they view you as an extension of them, but they want to be you so they don't want you to be too confident in yourself, which is why they will disrupt and sabotage anything that you find joy in, because it's something that's associated with you. And if you're associated with these things that you like, then they can't be you, because there can't be two of you, which is why they make you self-doubt. They make you lack confidence in yourself and your abilities and in the reliability of your own thoughts, motives and personality because then you're not aligned with yourself and then they can take on your identity which is why whenever they disrupt or sabotage something you were involved in it suddenly becomes something that they're engaged in because they recognize that you are more desirable, powerful and attractive. And it's because you're authentic. You're just being yourself. But they don't understand what it's like to be authentic. So when they're around you, they stop resisting. They stop trying to win. And instead, they align with you. And they assign whatever you're engaged in onto themselves 
while projecting their low self-esteem onto you because they recognize your identity and personality as a source of power, as something that's greater than them. So when they steal your personality, it makes them feel good. And this is why they can't be vulnerable and they never heal because it doesn't feel good for them to be themselves. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.